Hey guys, it's John here again today from Toxic Spikes, bringing you another dueling network. Narrated duel. Uh, if this duel seems short, that's because it is very short. I didn't even have to speed it up at all because... Yeah, um, I spent like an hour trying to get duels, and I just ended up getting really, really crappy duels, and this was like the first thing I had that was close to a legit duel. And I decided I'd just upload it, and you know, just have some content up on the channel, and let you guys know I'm still alive. So anyways, um, I'm playing my Nordic Beasts here, and I think he's playing like Naturia. So I'm gonna lead off some of my Tengu. I drew into two Tengus, which is bad, but, you know, uh, I have the Solemn, I have the MST. I'm gonna go ahead and MST his back row before he even has a chance to activate it. it turns out just to be a magic drain so that's really no big deal and now this turn i'm going to go ahead and draw into forbidden lance so i'm going to go ahead here and summon enraged battle ox now i was actually i saw this sort of tech choice in vexicus's video with his nordic uh deck with his nordic uh beast deck profile and Enraged Battle Axe actually has a really good effect. It pretty much makes it so that all beasts and beast warriors and winged beasts do piercing damage. So, Tengu, Battle Axe, uh, all of the Nordic monsters, they're all doing piercing damage, which is pretty cool. And even Thor himself, I believe. So, that's really cool. Um, and as you can see right here, it actually helps out a lot, because he's going to special summon two more Naturia Cherries. And normally this would act as a line of defense for someone, but instead, it's just going to make him, like... Uh, it's just going to hurt him more, and I'm going to get a solid 3,000 damage off. So... Anyways, as you can see here, uh, I have the Forbidden Lance. What Forbidden Lance does is it makes it so that you select a monster on the field, they lose 800 attack, but they're unaffected by spells and traps till the end of the turn. So that can be really helpful. So right here he's gonna, and you'll see right here actually, he activates Dark Hole, I believe. Um, yeah, he was thinking for a while there. But because he decides he'll sacrifice his own Naturia Cherry and take out my monsters, but I actually activate that on my Enraged Battle Ox. That way, I'll get another Tengu from my deck, and I don't lose my Battle Ox. <clears throat> and I retain a huge field presence here. I mean, I got two level fours. I probably could have gone into, like, Utopia or something, thinking back now, but I don't even think I, need to, I needed to do that. And you'll see why in a minute. Uh, he's just going to go ahead and summon Naturia White Oak. As I activate Solemn Morning, that's not that's gonna negate his summon and shut him down. Solemn Morning's awesome card. <laughs> yeah, people don't like running Solemn, especially not in this format, but it can be helpful. Uh, you know, all depends on the deck you're running. Uh, right here, I'm just gonna summon my last Tengu, see if he's got like Tarantula or anything to handle it. I have Monster Reborn just in case, and I'll go ahead and attack for game. So that's good game to this guy with his uh, Naturias. So, anyways, um, yeah. Uh, hopefully I'll have better duel videos to bring you guys in the future, but like I said, I was getting duels with bad hands, and, you know, just, like, or bad opponents, and then finally when I get a good duel, of course, I'm not recording. So, rate, comment, sub, see you later, guys. Peace.